Okay, we're going to talk about the theories of light and we're going to start off with Newton's corpuscular theory. He said that light is made up of a stream of tiny particles called corpuscles. Okay, and the reason for this he suggested is because when you look at shadows, they have a sharp edge. So he thought, oh, well, light must travel in a straight line. So he assumed that it was particles that were traveling in straight lines. At that point in time, they hadn't measured diffraction with enough precision to know that the light, it can bend around corners. Okay, he also explained reflection successfully. If you think about it, if you've got particles coming this way with momentum in this direction and in this direction, when they collide, what happens is simply the momentum that was uh, parallel to normal gets reversed and the horizontal uh, momentum in this case just remains the same. That's because they experience a force at this point here when they collide elastically with the wall. Elastically meaning they don't lose any speed. So if they don't lose any speed, what you should get is the angle of incidence should equal the angle of reflection. He was also able to explain refraction. However, he made an incorrect prediction. So he said that when you have a light coming in, particle, the corpuscle coming in, when it goes into the medium, the medium exerts a force on the corpuscle, which attracts it towards, when especially in a dense medium, it attracts it towards the medium. So the, the component parallel to normal, this one here, increases while this component just stays the same. So this is why it bends towards the normal. So here is making the prediction that light is faster in a dense medium. And we know this to be false, but at that point in time, they hadn't measured the light in a more dense medium. So, I mean, so his theory was able to explain it, but he made an incorrect prediction. Here's another visual representation here. So you can see as it goes into that second medium, which is represented by a different slope in this case, um, that the component is it's attracted into it and then it comes back out. So Newton's prediction for diffraction interference were wrong. He suggested that because the particles travel in a straight line through the slits, they just form two fringes like this. And actually, even once Young's had done the double slit experiment and showed that actually you get a pattern, people still believe Newton. The reason for this being that Newton had published a bunch of other theories, for example, his laws of motion, laws of gravity, and um, played a big part in calculus, that he had such a high reputation that people didn't want to question his authority.